Good evening and welcome to KQED Newsroom. I'm Twee Vu. This week's election thrust the South Bay city of Sunnyvale into the national spotlight. Voters approved a new gun law and the National Rifle Association is threatening to sue. The new law will require gun owners to lock up their weapons and report firearm thefts. Gun dealers would have to keep records of all ammunition sales and perhaps the most controversial, a ban on large size magazines. The new law takes effect January 1st. Scott Schaefer sat down with Sunnyvale Mayor Tony Spitaleri to find out what inspired him to push for the law. Mayor Spitaleri, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. You really pushed for Measure C uh, to put it on the ballot and to get it passed. What made you so passionate about it? Uh, many things, but the one that really drove the point home was the unfortunate uh, incident in Newtown where young children that t actually this past year should have been going to school and not going to school. And that made me angry. And, you know, we, we hear about all these tragic shootings across the country and we, we feel sorry for them and, and, and you, know, we, you know, we have compassion for them. But I don't think any of it made anyone angry as that did. Who were you angry at? I was angry at the fact that it, it happened. How can such a tragedy happen? How could they, uh, not they, but how could something like that, how can anyone even think about hurting young children when, when you know, they're just starting their life, you know, they're enjoying life, they're, they're, they're a pleasure to have, you know, they're, they're exciting to be around and someone just ends their life like that and, and you think, how senseless and why aren't we doing anything to, pre to prevent that? And so the politics of it made you angry also? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's what drove it home is that, you know, I was, like anyone else, said, okay, this has to be the catalyst that our congressional leaders and our state leaders are going to say, this is it. This is enough. Let's do something about it. Now, it we all know Congress didn't really do anything about it. Anything and about uh, it. what makes you think that Sunnyvale, a city that's, you know, 140,000 people, one out of 100 cities and towns in the Bay Area where there's 7 million people, what makes you think that one ballot measure in one town, one city, can make a difference? Well, I like it to the ban on plastic bags. It started in one town, then it went to another town, then it went to another town. So in Santa Clara County, we have no longer plastic bags. It has to start somewhere. And no city, no entity is immune from any of this at all. Yeah. But on the other hand, uh, how are you going to enforce it? I mean, you're not going to have Sunnyvale police knocking on doors and seeing if guns are locked up. I mean, how will you even know if people are you know, violating the law. You know, it, it's no different than most of the gun laws. The, the, you, you don't really get involved with the gun laws until something happens. Uh, today, our police don't, you know, knock on doors to see if you have fully automatic weapons or anything that you're not supposed to have. Generally, when you see a law enacted or take them on, is when it's in a commission of a crime or something or an accident. So it comes to light. So when it comes to light, you know, uh, didn't you lock your gun up? Uh, why not? Uh, Oh, you had a high capacity magazine that has more, you're in violation of law. Those things would happen, right? We're not going to be knocking on doors and, and, and showing, ask us. But you compare it to the plastic bag ban, those bags are gone. I mean, yeah. that, that had a real impact. Well, the, so well, it was, it was a symbolic. Visual. Yeah, it was visual. But my point with the plastic ban was, is, you know, uh, what good would we do with starting in one town? Well, my point is, is that we've already got calls from two or three other cities saying, we want to do something, the same thing you're doing. So that's the start of it. So if we can build a good base for our congressional leaders to stand on to do something about that will work. Wouldn't uh, it be better for the state to do something? Governor Brown, for example, signed into law some 11 gun-related bills in this past session alone. He did veto a few of them also. Yeah. But is it, wouldn't it be better to have a state and ideally a national uh, law that would really do what you're trying to do? Oh, ideally to have a national, yes. Can we get it on a national level? No, we haven't been able to get it. That's why it has to start from the bottom up, not top down. We have been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's not happening. Yeah, in the ideal world, if, if, if the Congress or the state legislators can pass a, a statewide law or a national white law and they can get it done, fine. Yeah. But they're not doing it. Now, of course, the NRA is threatening or promising to sue. Uh, they haven't done that yet. But is the city prepared to go to court and spend whatever it takes to defend this law? We hope that, you know, that doesn't happen, but we, if we have to do what we have to do to, pre to defend our law, we will. Uh, you know, the NRA always, you know, that's, that's their first words out of them when you talk on any issue with guns, we're going to sue you. Did you, do you feel like they tried to intimidate you to, to prevent you from putting this on the ballot? The, well, they tried to, but uh, it, 
and their intimidation didn't work with me. But what they tried to do, um, which they failed to do, was try to intimidate our, our citizens, try to uh, threaten them with lawsuits and the cost of things so they would be afraid to go to the polls. But our citizens stood up very loud and clear and said, NRA, you don't scare us. I detect a little bit of a South Bronx accent. Are you like spoiling for a fight with the NRA? <laughs> I'm not spoiling for one, but I, I, I'm, I'm ready to fight. As a kid from the South Bronx, I'm used to fighting. So, you know, like I said, bring it on. All right, you're not going to back down. <laughs> no, we're not backing down. We can't back down. We cannot afford to back down. We cannot lose any more children. We cannot have any more children taking weapons to school and hurting other children. That has to stop. All right, Sunnyvale Mayor Tony Spitaleri, thank you so much. My pleasure.